there are no external forces acting on the system, then we can use conservation of mechanical energy. A body has energy due to its motion, and that's kinetic energy, and the formula for kinetic energy is a half mv squared. A body can also have energy due to its position, which is potential energy, and this the formula for potential energy is mgh, where m is the mass of the body, g is the acceleration due to gravity, and h is the vertical distance above or below uh, an arbitrary zero PE level. In both of these formulas, we need to be in SI units. If there are no external forces acting in the system, then we can use conservation mechanical energy, and this states that all of the potential energy and kinetic energy in one position equates to the, all the potential energy and kinetic energy in a second position. To find the kinetic energy of the body, we just use the formula Ke equals a half mv squared, where the mass has to be in kilograms and the speed has to be in meters per second. We can work out the change in potential energy by using the fact that potential energy equals mgh, ensuring we are in SI units. Here we first need to work out the body's initial kinetic energy so we can work out its final kinetic energy and then use the fact that a half mv squared will equal that final kinetic energy. Since there are no external forces acting we can use conservation mechanical energy. All of the energy in position B will equal all of the energy in position A. We need to define a zero potential energy level. This could be anywhere in the motion, but the two obvious positions are either at A or at B. The advantage of putting it at B is that the potential energy at A will then be positive. Once again, there are no external forces acting, so we can use conservation of mechanical energy. All of the energy in position A equals all of the energy in position B. Again, we need to define a zero potential energy level. And once again, it makes sense to have this at the bottom part of the motion, in this case at A. So the potential energy at B will be a positive value.